Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd uh, show you another update on the space station here, and I've been uh, trying to work through a lot of hurdles and figuring things out and stuff like that. Um, so to start with, uh, when I showed it last time, um, uh, my first hurdle was actually to come up with a force field design that worked, and that 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 got done. So uh, we do have uh, complete force fields over this kind of hexagon oct octagon like shape uh, entryway. Um, and I had to do that by, you know, let me get the HUD on a second. Feel it. uh, it's really hard to see my cursor there, but I've got like some really big ones, uh, forest fields. I kind of go all the way, uh, about two or three blocks from the top. And then they kind of loop back around and then all the edges I had to use smaller. Did I just say solar panels? I meant forest fields. Um, uh, I had to use a lot of smaller forest fields around the edges here. Uh, like one by ones, one by two, one by threes to fill in all the gaps around here. Um, and then it kind of worked. So it should be a good solid airtight wall there. Um, beyond that too, I did work on uh, the, the trim ring around those areas. I added in a little bit more detail in kind of the corners and uh, a couple more like ridge lines in here, I guess you could say with some of the block changes. Um, I also widened the, uh, or made the station a, a couple blocks longer so I could fit something in the middle here to get down to production and also another uh, space going up to the top uh, for the farming area. So then I started working on the next part here and that is the uh, Helios module arm extensions and solar array. Um, and this part proved to be a whole lot more tricky than I thought it was going to be. Uh, to start with, I you know, kind of went uh, with this, I decided to go with this curvy pattern over here on this side, and I, I wanted to put a lot of glass in it because I thought the visuals uh, would look really neat being able to see the, the structure of the station, and then when you kind of come into it, you get this, uh, at least I feel like you get this wild sci-fi feel come, coming into it, and I, I kind of dig that, uh, but overall, I didn't really like the design over here. Um, now this top area here, this was all designed to hold uh, solar panels up top here. And it actually looked all right with the solar panels in place and all these beams would line up to the solar panels I was using to make them look like they're held there. Um, but then I realized that this whole structure here was off and the door for the module bays was coming out here and not in the center. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I didn't like this design very much at all. So anyway, um, I started in working on the other side and the other side's kind of similar, but, um, some changes were made. So I kind of, uh, got a little bit further with this side. Um, it's doing the same idea, but I went with more of a, uh, again, a more of an octagon pattern, hexagon, octagon pattern, um, instead of the round that I used on the other side, although I kind of like the round better uh although i did this because it would match the shaping of the station better um because the shape uh, the station is obviously not round so anyway i tried this so i've got this worked out better so these doorways come out to the center um i do have a module parked in here right now um and you can kind of see how that fits i might want to bring this this back a little bit further but i'm not sure if i need to or not um, you got some uh, specifications with these Helios module bays and basically you got to have two walls. You got to have a front wall so you can push up against it and be nice and solid there. And then you got to have a ceiling so you can push up against that to level out the module so the doorway and everything lines up good. So I've got to have blocks up here. Um, I was trying to go with, again, a fairly thin design though, not a solid, uh, you know, structure here so i'm trying to use a lot of framework and stuff like that and i even try to get in that shape inside of here that kind of goes with the base uh just to see how that would work out but this is not perfect on this side yet either and uh one of the issues i've got like if i'm coming in and out of a module here this area here is open to space right now and i don't want that um the whole point of uh, the module and having this door here is so you don't have to go out in space at all to get in and out of these things. And so basically I got to modify this, this entryway here. So it's all sealed and the door is probably aligned with the other door. So it needs more work over here yet. 
Another option I've got, and I haven't done it yet, it would add size class and more um, cost to the build, is this whole thing is kind of set up a little bit modular. Like, so I could just kind of copy some parts out and double the module base on either side. So I could have four out to this side and four out to the other side. So that's another option I've got. Um, so anyway, I got this sort of worked out kind of right now. Um, but if you got any other ideas on how to go about modules on here that might look better than what I've got going on here, um, please let me know. I am all ears because I, you know, even when I get this thing fully tweaked out, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like the looks of it. It's, uh, I, I think the big issue I've got is because the station itself is not gigantic like you would see in like Nomad Sky or Elite Dangerous or something. Um, these module bases, bays are pretty darn big and they're, they look disproportionately large compared to the main station. And that is the one issue I've got with it. But I also think it would be really cool to have the module bays for gameplay purposes uh, and things like that. Uh, it gives you a nice place to park some module creations or Helios module creations at least. Okay, so the next part was solar. Now, originally I, I tried solar up over there and that wasn't really working out very good. And then I made a, uh, a bit of a discovery. Now in comments, it was suggested that I put this right next to a star so I can really test out the solar panels. And that, that is great advice. Uh, so where I ended up going is here. And if you see the star is uh, right in the middle there. So I'm re really close to it at this particular location. Uh, but one thing I didn't realize is these, the light from the star is coming up at a, like a 22.5 degree angle at the station and not straight forward on like I thought it was going to be. Um, so, and it doesn't matter, like I can move down as much as I want. This doesn't actually exist and I will not proportionally move myself from where the star is right now. Um, even though I, like I just dropped there and it, it makes no difference. Uh, so, looking at the first solar set up where I had them here, I'm noticing that I'm getting shadows from this cage here going on the back wall and that was right over the solar panels. I don't know if it was causing the solar panels to get less solar power or not, but um, it basically it certainly looked like they were shaded. So I was like, well, that's a bad place to put the solar panels on the top there. So then I thought, well, maybe I should put them down below instead. But I don't know if I'm gonna like that idea either. So then I tried another approach. I'm like, well, you know, I got the whole bottom of the base. I could put solar panels down here um, and I could make, you know, work them out so they're in different shapes and things like that. And I was like, you know, and they get much better. They get like straight on sunlight, no shadows or anything if I if they're on the bottom over here. Uh, I imagine it would work the same if they're below those, those bays as well. But then I'm looking at them and I'm like, well, man, I'm right in front of the star, about as close as I could possibly get to the thing. And they're only getting three, three lights. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. Um, and I, uh, then I thought, well, maybe it's because of the sunlight angle. So then I popped in a uh, uh, angled solar panel and it's getting four, four of your lights. So I'm like, well, that's better. Um, so I'm probably, I'm definitely gonna have to redesign what I've got going on for solar here. Um, and I'm probably gonna be going with the angled solar panels. But my big question is, I don't know if that rings true on all star systems or just this one. You know, um, I don't know if the sunlight's always coming in at this angle. Uh, if it is, these angled panels would be better use for space stations. Um, but if not, then these would suck compared to the flat ones, um, depending, you know, on the system that you're in. So it's, it's just a lot of things to think about and figure out and... I don't exactly know yet. I might have to do some more research in the game and find out if, if if the starlight comes in like it is from this star on all the systems, or if this or it just fluctuates from system to system, and it will make a difference on which way you got your solar panels. Now, if there is a solar panel that would literally like rotate itself towards the sunlight, that would be wonderful. Then you, this would be a non-issue, but. Um, right now it kind of is a little bit of an issue because if all these were getting a perfect four rating versus a three rating, um, it would have more power 
you know, you'd be able to do more production and stuff like that in, in the base. Um, and I definitely want to try to optimize the solar panels. Now, okay, so beyond that, I got to figure that the solar out yet yeah, and still work on the module bay areas and stuff like that. Uh, other specs for the base, um, I'm really steering towards, I'm going to try to pull off 16, 640K storage bays in here. And I think it can do that. Um, it might even be able to do more than that. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So it's got room for that. Another feature I wanted in the, the station is to hold a full set of turbines. Uh, four small, four medium, four large. Uh, so I got to make room for that. Um, obviously in the lower floor here, which is, doesn't really have a floor in here yet, but um, this is going to be the whole production area. And I'm going to try to make all the storage bays come down to this area. Like maybe like little... Uh, container extension like wires coming down so they can meet up to the controllers down here or something like that And then I've got some extra tall ceiling areas along the sides here for furnaces um, And then this whole area pretty much laid out for production. Maybe Maybe like a an end area over here could be used for some turbines or something like that, too So I'll, I'll have to figure that out uh, Maybe even on this side, too. It's it's there's a lot of places to put stuff but, but not so much room that I got to fill it in with, uh, you know, taverns and things. So, also in comments too, I did bring up the idea that, you know, maybe I will try to do a POI version of this thing too. Um, and then this area would be a sales floor on the top instead of a farming section. Um, and even on for a player base, if I didn't put a farm here, then, I you know what else would i put here you know it's it, it kind of just really out of ideas there um or the other option would be to literally shave the whole top of the base off <laughs> um and just have it really kind of spaced out weird so that there's no room up there but i kind of like it keeping it uh, proportional mostly proportional to the uh the bottom side at least um i think it would look better that way so anyway that's where i'm at so last thing i just want to go uh mention if you got your uh engineering uh think think caps on <laughs> if that's a, if that's a thing if you got a better way that might look visually better to add modules to this thing uh, from what uh, from the method i'm doing like even if it's radically different than this um please let me know i'm all ears like i said i'm not i'm not super satisfied with the looks of this in relation to the base itself like this would work fine on something else but it just looks kind of a little i don't know maybe a little out of place for the shape of the of the station in fact quite frankly i think the station looks better without all the extensions going on around it right now um i thought the just the base shape itself was was fine um but then again you know i wanted helios module base on here i want solar on here you know, I'm going to have to take fairly drastic steps to make that happen if I, if I want those things. And it would make sense to have those things. I, I don't want it like less. Uh, I want it to perform as good as something like this. Now, this is more expensive. Um, the uh, Solaris station here. But I want it to have the capabilities that this station did. Um, more mostly. But at a lower price. So, like. Uh, we can't even compare price numbers right now, but this, I mean, this was not not a cheap base, eight hour and 49 minute build time. Um, once I get this filled in, obviously whatever the build time is now is going to go up, but I don't know. I would imagine this should be cheaper though, because it's not going to have as much space, uh, less blocks, things like that in, in the build. We'll see. We'll see. It's not, it's not like uh, necessarily a starter base. As in CPU, that's the last thing. Um, I took out all the extra generators. It still has a 1x3 generator in here. Um, but that brought it down to about 40,000 CPU. Uh, so that's no extra cores in here at all. Just your, your basic CPU core. Um, I want to have this come stock with some amount of production equipment. Um, however, I could leave, you know, put in place holders for stuff too, to, so you could spawn it in a little quicker and cheaper and stuff like that. So I might ramp this up to use like a couple basic CPU cores, like a core three build, 
um, and see what kind of uh, equipment I can get installed for that. You know, uh, definitely want, um, you know, at least a couple advanced constructors and small constructors and the furnaces and uh, there's things that are going to eat up some CPU on here. Um, but I'll try to leave it so you can do some massive production in this thing. Um, or if you wanted to bring it up to a uh, core seven or nine or something and just fill the thing with constructors, you could do that. Uh, and furnaces. In fact, right now I'm kind of looking at, you know, the bare minimum of four furnaces, but maybe it'll have six or something like that. I don't know yet, but I, somewhere between four and eight. Eight might be kind of radical, though. I think four probably would do the job, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, I've seen four in, in use before, and it, it you can throw in like a stack of ore, and it's done pretty darn quickly with that. You know, if you're... If you're a big faction out there and doing a lot of production for your whole your whole faction, you know, I want you to be able to do that, but I just don't know if going over four furnaces would be overkill. I'm not even sure if it lets you put in more than four. I think it does. I think the Solaris had... God, what did this have in it? I, I think this had five. A weird number. It had like three, three over here, and then there's a couple more um somewhere in here yeah back over here yeah well places for them but you could uh fill this up with uh i believe five furnaces so anyway um i think that's it and please let me know what you think about this and uh, other than that i will uh talk to you later